Morning Mix, the exceptional bowling league is a nonprofit league with adults with disabilities and special needs. They serve individual, uh, individuals with a wide variety of these special needs. This July 22nd, they're holding their It's OK to be Different bowling tournament to raise some much needed funds. Judith Gillian and Nancy Nixon are with the organization and they are here with us to tell us more. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you for having us. Uh, <laughs> Judith, tell us a little bit about the organization and how it got started. Okay, it, well, it's been in existence since the 1960s. A local pastor who had cerebral palsy went through two different brain surgeries, and he needed something to fill his time while he was recovering. And he realized at that time there was very little available for people to do for recreation that have a disability. So he started bowling. And out of that, and through the sponsorship of Masters, they started the very first exceptional bowling league. It's been called different things depending on what was the current terminology, but it has eventually become the exceptional bowling league. So it has been in existence for over 60 years. Oh. And I like to remind people, remember, that it, the Special Olympics didn't start till 1968. So this preceded, it's been going on longer than the Special Olympics. We got a leg up on the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Yes, Look at that. true. Oh. And so it's, it's been going on all those years, and it was sponsored by a local civic organization that the pastor was actually a member of until 2010. They lost funds and members and were no longer able to continue supporting us. So the families and care providers took it over, and we're raising funds now. And yes, you are. And here in a couple weeks, Nancy, um, you guys have an event coming up. And a lot of us at News 12 are a part of it. Mm -hmm. We're excited to Yes, be. we do. It, it's called It's OK to be Different Bowling Tournament. It's going to be July 22nd. Um, the doors open at 12. We start bowling at 1230. We're going to have a silent auction. And we'll also have um, raffle tickets that you can buy where we'll raffle small items off. Um, we'll have baked goods to sell. Um, we have um, quite a few of our bowlers will be there and have teams or be on different teams with other people. We have special guests that are going to bowl with each one of the lanes so that um, they can um, be special for the kids. And we call our children kids. Uh, <laughs> hey, we all but, got the kids. Um, you see some of the kids right there? Yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes. Those are our, they are precious. Um, we love them. Um, and, and can anyone join or participate? Yes, still? anyone yes. can join. Um, if you have a family, we'd say five and up children. We want this to be a family event. We want everybody to have fun, enjoy it, meet our bowlers, um, and just um, have a fun day. And there still are some sponsorship availabilities yes. open if people want to take part in that, correct? Yes, okay. there is. There are several ways to sponsor us. One way is lane sponsorship, and for $50 to $100, you can sponsor a lane. At that level, you will have a poster put on the lane with a picture or a photo or a logo and a smaller size for 50 and a little bit larger size for 100. We also have a 200 and up, which will be a larger poster out in the main area of Bolero, and also everyone that participates by signing up to bowl or as special guests will receive a souvenir t-shirt. The sponsors for 200 and up will be on the back of the t-shirts as well. And Joe, I don't know if we can get the flyer information back up on the screen if you could. Uh, where can people go to get more information if they would like to participate? We yes. can see it's going to be at Bolero Augusta. Yes, it is going to be at Bolero. They probably know. But also we have a Facebook page called the Exceptional Bowling League of the CSRA. All of the flyers and information is also posted on there along with our phone numbers. So calling Bolero, they can give you our number. Or if you go to our Facebook page, you can find it and find our numbers, too. We can give you our numbers, but I know that might be more difficult to put up quickly. And, of course, if somebody does have exceptional needs or special needs, it, they could join the league as well with you. Correct? Yes, we do currently have a waiting list, um, and that's the, the sad part of it. But it's also a joyful part because we're maximizing what we can do. But we serve pretty much anybody that has any kind of disability. We have bo a, one bowler that's blind and another that is legally blind. We have three bowlers that are hearing impaired to deaf. We have people with autism. We have people with Down syndrome. So it, we run the gamut. Um, but they all blend together so well. It's a huge family. They support each other, and there's so much love, just so much love there, uh, and so much joy. They're so happy to be together. Um, we often say that the 
end of May is sad for them because they're going to be gone for a summer. But then the early, the first Thursday in September is a joyful day because they all get to see each other again. Because they're back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Judith Manthes, thank you so much. This thank is happening you. on the 22nd. So make sure if you want to head out there, do so. Yes. Get your arm Please ready. Do. Yes. yes. You're going to yeah. be one of the oh, guests. Yeah, We'd okay, love cool. to have people right. just drop in. Sure. They don't right. have to sign up the bowl. Just to watch. Right, because we have the silent auction and we also have the bake sale and the raffles. So anybody can come and just enjoy. And special guests, they'll get to meet you guys. All right. And there you uh, have it. this email is right there on the screen as well. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank well, you. Thank you for having us.